Hey Prince Nation, for the second time in the history of this channel, here I am doing a recap of a new franchise taking a player off of the Preds roster for the purposes of an expansion draft. This time, it's the Seattle Kraken's turn. Four years ago, it was the Vegas Golden Knights turn and they selected from the Preds fan favorite to this day in some cases, James Neal. Tonight, the Seattle Kraken select the player that was protected to make James Neal expendable to Vegas, Callie Yarncrook, whose turn it was to leave Nashville by Ironhook. Coming into today, before the picks would eventually get leaked around lunchtime this morning, my time, I thought for sure, based on what the unprotected protected lists were when they released on Sunday, that the Seattle Kraken were certainly going to take Colton Sissons from the Preds. If you missed the protected list by the Preds last Sunday, the Preds protected UC Soros and Nett, Roman Yossi, Matthias Ekholm, Philip Myers, who they just acquired from Philadelphia in exchange for Ryan Ellis, Dante Fabro and Alexander Carrier. And at forward, the Preds, of course, protected Philip Forsberg, Luke Cutton, and Tanner Janot. That was certainly a shocker to many in the fan base, but hopefully David Poyle knows what he is doing. As you can see, that left players such as Callie Yarncroke, Colton Sissons, Yakov Trenin, Expose and even Ryan Johansson and Matt Duchesne's eight million dollar contracts apiece were left out there to be taken as Matt Duchesne's no move clause doesn't kick in until later on in his contract. With my initial pick feeling being Colton Sissons, I thought maybe because he's from Vancouver that the Kraken might take Ryan Johansson because he has more promise left in him based on previous play, but for sure if the Kraken were going to take Matt Duchesne's $8 million anchor away from the Preds, the Preds were going to probably have to offer something. And as of yet, there's no rumor that the Preds tried to offer Seattle anything to take him. Well, besides another tribute video that Preds PR is going to have to create when the Seattle Kraken come to Bridgestone to play the Preds, you know what else that means that? Cowie was taken over Colton. We get to keep the herd line and tag. Yay! Originally drafted 51st overall in a 2010 entry draft by the Detroit Red Wings. On March 5th, 2014, the Preds would send David Leguan to the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for a package that included Cowie Yarncroft. Callie would go on to play 500 NHL games so far in his career, all of the Preds. He has scored 94 goals and 117 assists at this point in his career. Callie has one year left on his current contract at $2 million, which probably incentivized Ron Francis Seattle Kraken GM to select him and is poised to become an unrestricted free agent next summer. So to recap the Preds, offseason to this point. That's four roster spots that are now empty and ready to be filled by other players. Twelve and a half million dollars off of the books going into next season. This all being Pekka's retirement, Arvidsson and Ellis being traded, and now Cali being taken by Seattle. In case you're curious, as time continues to fly by, there are now just six players still left on the roster who played on a 2017 Stanley Cup finalist Nashville Predators roster. This includes, of course, Philip Forsberg, Ryan Johansson, Colton Sissons, Roman Yossi, Matthias Ekholm, and remember who the backup was of that team, UC Soros. In closing, I just want to wish Kelly Yarncroke all the best in Seattle and in your future, as long as you're not playing the Preds. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit like if you liked this video. Hit subscribe if you really liked it. You can find my social media as always by clicking on the channel name. And don't look now, Preds Nation, but Friday is coming up quick. And you know what that means. The 2021 NHL 
entry draft and a whole new load of new Preds prospects.